okay so this is the first session we have and uh, my agenda is you should be very much familiar with what exactly the things that we are going to cover yeah. my agenda is you should be very much familiar with what will be the road map what are the course content how the rpa is going to be beneficial for you so we are going to discuss each and everything whatever the question it might be in your mind so we are going to discuss about that first so first of all oh, yeah. Some, yeah yeah rena any question okay so first of all i am santosh i am taking all these sessions from last few years i am working in the company as a technical specialist my area of expertise that i am working for is basically the rpa last 6 7 year i am working with this rpa earlier it was the dot net plus it was the databases i am also very much like uh, so many times we need to work with the data science project data science and ai kind of stuff but my prime domain is that i am working from last 6 7 years about the rpa yeah everyone please mute your so this particular session that we are going to start with it's about the rpa ui path first of all so many time people are asking me lot of questions so i am going to deal with that question first number 1 what is the future prospect of this rpa it's going to be beneficial for you if you are going to learn the rpa what is the job prospect how it's going to be good for the like uh, good for your career at this present scenario remember rpa is at the peak right now if you are going to start with the google trends rpa is the like in the google trends rpa is in top 5 skill set in the top 5 skill set over there they are suggesting you like you should go with the rpa number 1 number 2 at present in the market and you don't believe with any words like i am going to tell you something you don't need to believe on that you don't need to believe on the google you can do one thing like you can open the nokri.com you can open the timesjob.com you can open the monster.com and you just write it over there like you a ui path developer rpa profile ui part developer and you will get the answer so right now the rpa is the hot cake in the market lot of options are there especially with the ui path lot of options are there related with the job the second thing for the rpa the coding is required for the rpa the coding is required officially no even if you are not from the coding background you can work with the rpa but because we need to work as a developer we need to do something extra always so we need to write the code and that code we are going to learn and that's why we are doing attending all this session so the coding portion like unofficial officially you don't need to write the code like this is the statement of the ui path this is the statement in the google coding portion is not required in the ui path but we need to work as a developer and lot of things we need to do that's why the code portion is required and that we are going to learn and remember here we don't need to write the code like a developer here we don't need to write the code like a developer we just need to write one line two lines one line two line three lines not more than that and that the entire portion we are going to learn in the session so my concern is if you are not from the coding background or if you are from the coding background it's going to be beneficial for you and you can manage all these things so many time people are asking me the question santosh it's a simple or it's a complex honestly speaking in compared to other technology i am talking about the ai data science i am talking about the java and all in compared to other technology 
it's going to be simple for you it's going to be simple it's not complicated things it's a simple things like uh, you can work on that like if you need to do some extra practice after the session you need to do some practice and all and if you are going to do that it's going to be like it's a simple it's not complicated kind of things suppose someone is trying to learn the android someone is trying to learn the iphone someone is trying to learn uh, like java someone is trying to learn the artificial intelligence in compare to all these technologies this is the simple thing so basically the good thing is you don't need to write too much lines of the code in market the demand is there it's a simple now the question is why is demand is the demand in the market and what about the future it's going to stay in the future also remember first of all we need to understand why people are using rpa rpa stand for robotic process automation so basically in rpa in rpa we are going for the automation remember in rpa we are not going to develop any new things what we are going to do we are going to automate the manual process okay so when we are going to automate the manual process so it's going to give the benefit to the organization how it's going to be benefit beneficial the return on investment like roi the amount the company is going to spend and what they are getting in the return it's really good like that's why now the company is shifting towards this uh, rpa automation is going to do the two things number one it's going to reduce the cost it's going to reduce the cost because you are going to apply the automation suppose the 50 employee from morning to evening they are doing the particular task i am going to develop one automation board here we are going to develop the board remember once i am going to develop the board my boat is going to do all the task that normally the 50 employee of the company performing in the entire day my boat is going to do all the task okay so rp is going to reduce the cost i can utilize the manpower in some different resource i can utilize the manpower i can reduce the manpower i can utilize the manpower and rp is going to reduce the cost plus the good thing about the rp is like it's going to number one is going to reduce the cost and quality wise again it's going to improve the like uh, the quality of the companies like try to understand suppose the 15 employees working in the company they require the holidays saturday and sunday they need holidays on the special festival they are going to take the sick leave and all the board they don't require you can schedule the board my board is going to execute every morning and what it will do it will automate the entire process so it's going to increase the quality of the work and it's going to reduce the cost tell me one thing if you are the company owner irrespective of the segment the category the domain it can be any companies it can be any company it can be healthcare it can be insurance it can be banking it can be hr process it can be finance every level is going to be beneficial so definitely the people will go for that and that's why from last four five years especially after the covid this rpa is growing like anything and rpa is the new destinations for the software professional i am telling you i am taking all this rpa session i am telling you i am taking all these rpa session from last four years online session i am talking about online session i am talking about and see this much of response i am getting this much of batches is there some batches already completed some batches get started these are the number of batches these are the different batches i am just i would like to show you so you people can understand what exactly the demand is the in the market see these are the old batches it's already completed these are the running batches r stand for running these are the old batches these are the old batches recently get completed yeah these are the current batches yeah these are the different different ui path group these are the people already connected with that and they are getting the result that's why i am taking all this session simple they are getting the result that's why i am taking all this session i am telling you i am also taking the sessions for the python 
and see what response I am getting. Yeah, only few batches are there. In compared to UI path, it's it's not going to stand. So basically, what I am trying to say, UI path is high in demand. It's going to be your right choice. You don't need to write too much lines of the code. It's a simple in compared to other technology. It's going to be the future. And the good thing is right now, still, still, I'm telling you, right now the RPA is the new things in the industry. So many industry like people are not familiar with the RPA. So many people are there in your surrounding might be they are not familiar with the RPA, what exactly the RPA is, what the RPA is going to do. Even I need to describe the RPA to the people like if I'm going to tell them I'm working in RPA. So I need to describe them like what exactly the RPA is, you know, got my point. So this is about the entire course content, how it's going to be beneficial and what is the future and all. Now the next important thing that you need to remember, see people are asking me the question, Santos lot of recordings are there, lot of videos are there, how your session is going to be different, why I am going to attend your session, it's a genuine question, why people are going to attend my session. The reason is recording and videos that's available with the YouTube, that available with the Google, that's available with the UiPath Academy. All these recording and videos, they are talking about the activities. They are talking about the command. They are talking about how to do the Excel automation. They are going to discuss about how to do a mail automation. They are going to discuss about the PDF automation. But what they are not talking about, they are not talking about the use cases. They don't have the use case. They don't have the scenario based studies. They don't have the project. They are not going to discuss on that. They are not going to discuss about the deployment, how you are going to deploy end to end, A to Z. In our entire session, we are going to discuss everything regarding the UI path. We are going to develop the project. We are going to deploy the project and our live session, I'm going to show you how you are going to develop the project, how you are going to apply the deployment at the time of development. What are the things we need to take care? So we are going to learn everything. Got my point? Number one. Number two, in every particular topic, in every single topic, you are going to get something new that's not available with the Google or the YouTube or the chat GPT. I am telling you, we are also using the chat GPT some of the time. 90% of the time, I am not getting the right answer through the chat GPT. Leave the Google or YouTube. So it's not like chat GPT having everything. Ultimately, they have some database, you are getting the recall result from some database, like in the background, the AI mechanism is there, perfectly fine. But ultimately, it's a database, you are getting the data from the database. But that option is not available in the database, then you are not going to get that. And we are going to strike the question, that's the latest question, even it's not available with the UI path. We have the support, like we, are, we have the license and everything. So we are getting the support, the team is there. So every time we are just discussing with the team and finally we are getting the answer 80% of the time. So we need to develop everything. We need to do everything by itself. The reason is like, see, basically we are not going to ask the normal question now. If I, if I am going to ask some question with the chat GPT, if I am going to ask some questions with the like customer support, so with the UI path, definitely that question will be again, it's a different questions. That question is not, the answer is not available with any platform. So, and maximum 80% of the time we are not getting the answers. So, what I am trying to say, what I am trying to say in the entire session, we are going to learn all the practical scenarios, all the use cases we are going to learn. We are going to develop the project. We are going to learn about the project development as well as the deployment. Got my point? So this is the speciality of my session. That's why you should start with this session. Next one, the entire session is going to be live. After the session, you people are going to get the recording. Notes will be there. And the kind of support, if I am talking about, definitely I am going to support you with the CV. I am going to support you with the CV. I am going to explain everything how you people are going to get the jobs suppose you are working in the company you require the job support and all 
I am going to provide that. Definitely, I am going to give you the support. I am going to, suppose you have some problem, I am going to discuss with you. It might be I am going to give you the immediate solution or it might be I am going to give you the solution after some time. But the code you need to write, got my point? I am just going to give you the hint. I am just going to give you the clue what to do, where you need to focus, got my point? So these kind of job support is available for lifetime. You don't need to worry about like, I'm telling you, nah, it's not one day's practice. Like I'm taking all this session. It's not like uh, one day or two days. Like I'm taking all this session from last 15 years. So you don't need to worry about. It's a lifetime kind of thing is there. Kind of support is there. If you are going to connect with me, this kind of support is always will be there. And suppose you are working in the company, you are getting some problem, troubles and all. So always I will be there. But one important thing that you people need to do, you need to complete the entire RPA UI path. The course content, like the duration I'm talking about, the duration is going to be two months because this is the weekend session. This is the weekend session. Only we have the session on Saturday and Sunday. Good thing about this entire session, you, you are going to get the Monday to Friday, enough time to do the practice. Because practice is important. I cannot tell you like I am going to take the session and you are going to get the job. It's not like that. I am going to take the session, you need to do the practice, you need to do the assignment, then only you are going to get the job. So this is how like you need to do the practice. So what my demand from you, like two months you just need to work with the UI path properly. Once the session get completed, try to work on some project that I will assign to you. Once at first I will give you the demo of the entire projects and everything. After that you are going to do that. After that you are going to do that. Just one minute. Hello. Yes please. So what I was talking about like these kind of support is there from my side. These are the entire like uh, the about the job prospect, what you are you people are going to get, how we are going to give the supports and kind of thing, what will be the duration of the course. Saturday and Sunday we have the session, and normally it's a two hour session. But remember one thing. It might be the session is going to be one and a half hour. Because I am not going to consider a two hour, I am just going to consider a topic. Suppose today my agenda is, suppose the PDF automation. And now after one hour, I am analyzing the things like it's too much over the earth. At first you should do the practice, then we will continue with the next topic. I am going to stop the session. I am going to stop the session. Basically it's a content wise we are going to decide like how it's going to take time. And so it's not about the duration because you don't need to count the duration. If I'm going to make the mistakes, if I need to search something in the Google, if I need to uh, get the something from the notes and all, then it will take time. I don't need to do that. Uh, like whatever the things I'm going to write has to run. So it's not going to take time. Got my point. So basically the entire session is going to be of two hours. But the most important thing is, the most important thing is, it's going to be the topic based. Suppose RE framework I'm going to start with. Initially, I'm going to discuss about the theoretical portions of the RE framework. Then I'm going to believe like at first you need to get comfortable with this. Then we are starting with the practical thing. I'm going to stop that session. So this is how we are going to conduct the entire session. So I'm like, I'm like uh, two month time is there. Might be it's going to take 2.5 months because my agenda is like whenever you are going to do a particular course, timing should not be the constant. The important thing is your learning should be the should be there. Like it's not my job to complete the topic. It's your responsibility to complete all the topics at your end. Then I'm going to consider the course is going to be completed. I can complete the entire UI path within two days because I don't need to search anything. I just need to start with the things. But no use of that, no? If you people are not going to do the things at your end. So this is the entire things about the, in the entire process. Now, regarding the course content, 
I am going to divide my entire course content. I am going to divide my entire course contents in three parts. Number one, it's a core UI path portion. Number two, we are going to learn the advanced UI path portion. And number three, the few other things that also we need to learn to get the job. Under the core UI path portion, this is the most important part out of these three. Maximum of the time when people are going to discuss with me, they are asking about this. But I'm telling you, this is the most important part we need to focus on. Initially, we are going to learn about all the basics. Then we are going to learn about the Excel automation. This is the most important thing in the entire UI path. We are going to learn about the word automation. We are going to learn about the PDF automation. We are going to learn about the mail automation. Mail automation. Here we are going to learn about the RE framework. Here we are going to learn about the orchestrator. Here we are going to learn about the JSON. Here we are going to learn about the API. Here we are going to learn about the forms. Every single topic that I am writing over there, it's a huge thing. Before the RE framework, <laughs> lot of topics you need to learn. You need to learn about the state machine. You need to learn about the orchestrator queue. You need to learn about the error handling, exception handling. I'm just giving the important points like the topic wise. And with one particular topic, a lot of things are there that we are going to learn. Mail automation, we are going to learn about how to work with the Gmail. We are going to learn about how to work with the Outlook. Because in the companies, people are using the Outlook. So we are just going to discuss about the Outlook. We are going to learn about the PDF automation. In the PDF automation, I'm going to show you how you are, your UI path is going to recognize the handwritten signature also. So these kind of, this level of training we are going to provide. So in the Excel, lot of exercises will be there. Lot of use cases will be there that normally we people need to do in the companies. After this entire UI path, remember if you are going to complete the entire UI path, it's only going to contain the 70% of your entire profile. 30% still it's pending. In 30% what people are expecting from you? People are expecting the basic knowledge of the C sharp. You don't need to be the master. The basic knowledge of the C sharp. People are expecting some basic knowledge of the BB.net. People are expecting some basic knowledge of the SQL server. People are expecting some basic knowledge of the Python. Got my point? You don't need to be the master. People are just expecting like you have some basic knowledge. Like in the Python, how to create the function, how to create the modules, how we are going to import that, how we are going to create the library. So that things we need to learn. In the SQL Server, we need to learn about how we are writing the queries and all. At least the stored procedure, how we are writing. In BB.NET, in C Sharp, how we are writing the code. Because all these things we are going to integrate with the UI path. All these things we are going to integrate with the UI path. And after that, the most important things we are going to discuss about, it's about the project. It's going to be the long session. In the project development, we are going to start with the project and we are going to deploy the project. So it's going to be the end of the project. Like from the development to deployment, from high to buy, we are going to do everything with the project. Got my point? So this is the entire course content and everything we have. It's clear for you? Yes, please. Any questions from yes. your side regarding this? Yes, I guess it is clear. Okay, that's good. Suppose you people are going to miss particular session. In that case, the recording will be there. Number one. You can connect with me anytime. 18 hours around like 18 hours. My availability is there with the computer. You can connect with me at any time. Definitely you are going to text me your problem on the WhatsApp. Whenever I will get the time, I will revert you back. It might be right now. Suppose right now you have the problem and I'm taking the session and you are going to put some questions to me. I'm not going to solve that. If you have some problem, I'm not going to help you out. But after the session, definitely I will go through with the WhatsApp 
and I will see like what exactly the problem and I will give you the solution. So whenever you have solution like the problems and all, we can connect and we can do that. So no need to worry about all these kind of things. It's not like I'm taking the session and then I don't need to do anything with you. It's not like that. My responsibility is going to be and once you people are going to get the job and once in the job you are comfortable enough till there my responsibility will be there. Even after that my responsibility is continued will be continued. Why? Suppose you are going to learn about the orchestrator. Right now I am going to teach you the current orchestrator. But after one year the orchestrator gets changed. Because I am involved with this RPA, the UI path at management level. I am taking all this session. So I know what exactly the changes are there. At that time you automatically you will get something from my side regarding that particular change. Might be some individual session, some specific session for that and we are going to work on that. After this entire session, after this entire session, if you are going to put like you have the one year of experience or you have the two year of experience, you are going to justify that. You are going to justify that. Like what exactly the people are going to be ask you? Like they are going to ask you the question, they are going to ask you the project. At that level, like you people can justify up to two years of experience, easily you can justify. Even if you are going to put 2.5, 3.0, that depends on your preparation. But at least 1.5, two years of experience, easily you can justify during the entire interviews and all. Got my point? So this is the entire roadmap of the courses. What are the things we are going to cover? How we are going to cover all these things? So this is the entire things. Regarding the fee I am talking about, see, <laughs> I am charging this much of amount. And this much of amount I am charging from last five years. This much of amount I am charging from last five years. I am not taking any extra amounts and all. This much of amount I am charging with the people like from last five years. So many times it's happened like I am going to do the fee like 9000 and all. And people are asking me for the discount and all and again I am going to make it like 7300. So this is the genuine amount that I am charging with the people. I am not going to put like 11,000 and I am telling you because we are also in the market so we understand all these things. But honestly speaking like so many contents are there, so many things are there. So for the entire session I am just charging 7,300 rupees. Got my point? So I think like from my side I clear everything. If you have any question, any concern from your side, you can discuss with me. I got the message from the few candidates, like they are going to join it. Already they are uh, like they are registered with the batch. Already their amount and everything is settled. So like they are going to join it from the tomorrow. So tomorrow we are going to start with the first session. Tomorrow we are going to start with the first session. It's going to be the time like our time will be like, it's going to be 1 p.m. IST. Like again in the afternoon we are going to conduct the session and that's going to be the first session or uh, might be some changes will be there I will update you in the advance. Every day you are going to get the link in the well advance like 3, 4 hours, 5 hours before you are going to get the link so you can plan accordingly or might be one day before like might be in the two days night I am going to send you the link because I will al also discuss with them. Normally our Saturday session will be this time around 2 p.m. and our Sunday session will be it will be before 2 p.m. It might be from 12, it might be 12.30, it might be 1, 1 1.30 like that. So this is the schedule of the entire batch. So normally I am taking the Sunday session in the first half so you people can also uh, like uh, you also have a lot of responsibility. So you can also be free and uh, do some task and whatever the things get assigned uh, like so you can complete that. Got my point? Any questions from both of you? Uh, Santosh, I have one question. Yeah. Uh, actually, currently I'm working in a uh, Infosys. So I just wanted to ask you that. Currently, you are I have been working in Infosys. Okay. Yeah. So my concern is that I'm having a three years of experience. I'm working from Jan twenty one, and I have been allocated to the project like that is not coming properly. Can you speak slightly louder? 
is it proper now yeah now it's proper okay so i'm saying that i have been allocated to the project that is rpa project in which we were uh, we was using uh, blue prism and i was working as a support so till now i have just uh, learned some uh, like little bit development where i can identify the elements i, I can i can little bit code itself not a uh, not pro, uh, not uh, completely but uh, i can do changes little bit so that my concern perfect. is that uh, i want to switch now but uh, i'm not able to clear the interviews no need to worry about i am going to take all the mock interviews and all and you are just going to sit with me for that you don't need to worry about i am going to provide you the set of the questions you just need to work on that and you are going to crack all the interviews so no need to worry about i am going to give you four five page interviews questions and answer what they are at first you should focus on all these entire things then i am going to give you some questions and answer you just need to focus on that and you are going to get the job no need to worry about the interview sessions and all interview preparation and all because see as as an interviews the question is fixed what they are going to ask you they are going to ask you from this they are going to ask you from this maximum of the question they are going to ask you from this the few questions will be from this also the few questions will be from this also so i am just going to cover the entire thing so no need to worry about the first thing your responsibility is like do the things properly give me the two two months like honestly do the practice and all once you are going to do that you are not going to get any problems because what yeah, they can, and what uh, they can ask you at that interview like at this yes. level i can understand very well and i am going to give you all the details about that so no need to worry oh okay and uh, yeah if i will like uh, i i am already uh, three i am not uh, i won't be going to join the any company as a fresher so i am already having three years of experience yeah, yeah, it's perfectly fine it's in... perfectly fine so what you can do what you can do at that particular time i will suggest you like you are going to show your experience in rpa number one because already you are in the support yeah so what you will yes. do like you can say like you are working with rpa you have the knowledge of the blue page and uh, like from last one year you are working with the ui path so that's one year so okay. two year plus one year is going to be three year and you are going to make that so they are going to count it three years and then your ui path experience is one year so they are going to ask you the question up to that level and we are you are going to crack that okay fine and uh, my concern is that is like uh, in two days uh, blue prism is not you my, means much of the organizations are not using blue prism exactly, even exactly exactly yeah in 70% and even of the organization nowadays they are using the ui path yes and 20% of them, the organization now they are shifting toward the power automate desktop and now even uh, blue prism is only used in banking exactly, area exactly. i think exactly exactly blue prism mostly like, it is yeah. used in banking only i got it got it i know that yeah so the thing is that uh, as it is not going to be used in any other organization blue prism is having a very low yeah, requirement yeah, exactly, so that's exactly, why i want exactly. to switch my technology to ui path as ui path is having a... this is the perfect choice so i also and... worked with the blue prism earlier like 4 5 4 5 years back and uh, then i shifted with the ui path because nowadays like you are going to get the requirement in the ui path you are going to get Eight to nine requirements out of ten. In the blue page, we are going to get one requirement. This is the market scenario. Actually, as of now, I have seen the requirement for UI path, and then comes power automate and any exactly, automation exactly. anywhere. I am telling you now, like I am taking the session mainly with the UI path and power automate desktop because I am getting the response in that. Yes, that on. Yeah. Uh, so that's why I wanted to switch my technology to the yeah, yeah, UI process. path. Yeah, yeah. But uh, still, my concern was like, uh, if I will switch my technology, then in market they are asking for the experienced person, not an. No need to pressure. worry about. You are going to justify the experience. What you need to do? See, you just need to put some projects over there, and uh, whatever the project you worked with the earlier, uh, like with the your companies, in the support that you are dealing with, the same project you just need to mention, like I did with the UI path. and i will show you what you did exactly in the ui path what was the framework and everything i will describe that that you need to describe in the interview that's it okay then that's it
yeah thank you yeah yeah so tomorrow we have the session that will be the first session we will start it from the scratch okay yeah okay thank you rena okay mukesh ji thanks to okay sir thank you okay thank you i will share the recording and everything okay okay thanks. sir thank you